Hey guys, um, taking OC's suggestion, I went ahead and decided to use this as a pendulum. It's well balanced. I can demonstrate that by uh, removing this magnet. Okay, so the magnet's removed, and we'll let this thing settle to BDC. We put some tape on there with some marks on it so that we can we can really see what's going on. We'll demonstrate that here shortly. Let me slow this down because it's going to swing forever if I don't. Okay. So there we have our BDC and um, our mark right there. If I hold the camera over here, it looks like it's off. Or if I hold it over here, it looks like it's off that way. But straight on you know, we can see that it's, it's right in line. And I verified that with a protractor, and I verified it with a uh, straight edge, so that these lines are directly across from each other, and they are truly at 90 degrees for the center of the rotor. Now, what we're going to do is, we're, I'm holding this keeper from falling over, so i got to kind of do this with two hands. Uh, what we're going to do is, we're going to put this magnet down here and it just so happens that as it's sitting on the table it's it's got the sufficient shear point to demonstrate what I want to show you guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this 90 degrees, put the magnet uh, at the 90 degree mark over here which which is actually labeled 270 and we're going to release it and see if we get a gain from the magnet swinging around. Because according to Newton, we should only get uh, a little less than 90 because of the friction of the system, right? Here we go. Let's get the whole picture in there if we can. So that all we're doing is releasing. Make sure that I'm centered. Okay. You guys ready? Letting go. Stopping it. I'm going to let it go back the other way. Stopping it. We definitely get a loss. Okay? So let's line that up again. There we are. Releasing. What do you guys think? Did we get a gain out of that? Okay, line it up again. Releasing. Notice the overshoot. Line it up again. Pull it back here so you can see. Releasing. See the overshoot? Okay. And you notice if we put it on this side and release it, we don't get that gain, right? No go. So, what do you think would happen if we just turn this over, turn the magnet over, reverse the effect, right? Now, I should, lining it up on this side, I should get a loss. Agreed? Let's find out. We get a loss. And lining it up on this side, right on zero, we should get a gain. Well, it overshot. Did you see that? What do you think? Are we getting a gain from the magnetic interactions? One more time. Releasing. Overshoot. Want to see it again? Get the whole thing in the picture. So you can see it overshoot. Ready? Go. Overshoot. We're getting a gain on this magnetic pass in one direction. And I think that's what you guys need to focus on.